Hey guys, if you're trying to open the Adobe Creative Cloud app but it's just not opening, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you some quick and easy steps you can take to fix this issue. Now before we start, we need to close down any instances of Creative Cloud that could be running in the background of our computer by coming over to the Start menu and searching for Task Manager, and inside of this search box at the top here just type in Creative, and as you can see I have all these Creative Cloud processes running in the background, and we just need to right click on each of these and select End Task until we don't have any references left of the creative cloud and once we've closed down all these processes we can then head out of this task manager and we need to right click on the adobe creative cloud app and select open file location and then from this folder we'll once again get a right click on adobe creative cloud come into properties and then come over to the compatibility tab and you need to ensure that disable full screen optimizations and also run this program as administrator is checked and we can press apply and okay to save those changes and then you can try launching the application to see if that's fixed the issue now if that's still not working the next thing we can do is check our firewall settings and to do that head to the start menu and search for windows defender and tap on windows defender firewall from the left select allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall and you need to press this change settings button and then down at the bottom here come to allow another app select browse and you need to find the location where adobe creative cloud is saved which is usually inside of the c drive inside a program files x86 inside of the adobe folder adobe creative cloud come inside of utils and select creative cloud desktop app and then click open then press add to add it to the list and ensure that both private and public are ticked and then come back into allow another app back inside of browse and we're going to come up one folder inside of the account folder and we're also going to select this one the creativecloud.exe select add and once again make sure both private and public are checked and we can press ok to save our changes you can then check to see if that's fixed the issue otherwise the next thing we can do is head over to our start menu and search for settings and then tap on the settings tab and from the left here scroll all the way down to windows update and press this check for updates button as sometimes outdated software can cause compatibility issues with our applications so once you've installed any pending updates come over to time and language from the left here inside the language and region and what you need to do here is you need to come to this drop down and if you see another language in here then just change to the second language and then you need to change back to your original language i know it sounds like a weird thing to do but a lot of people have reported this working for them and then we can head out of this window and that's it guys hopefully by following all of these steps you're now able to launch adobe creative cloud if this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe until next time